myself at the same time. So yeah, you killed Johnny so much. No, no, no. I didn't kill him. Johnny killed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, it's a bit complicated. Okay, so, you know the AI stuff, right? Yeah. Where, yeah, you die and you become an AI. Mm -hmm. So basically, Johnny turns V into an AI. So you're telling me, like, so Johnny gives, like, your body back, kind of technically, but you're just a AI? Yeah. Kind of like the Matrix? Yeah, basically. And then you find a way to fix your body, and you're back in your body. Oh, uh, that is that like the other ending? What do you mean? You know how like, uh, when like... You know how like when you beat the game, and like you connect yourself into the machine? And then you see, uh, the AI lady? No, I don't think so. No, uh, at the end, you, uh... You survived the whole thing, and I think uh, Johnny dies in the process. Maybe I forgot. About maybe that one. question mark. <laughs> oh yeah, he d he gives you a choice, Johnny. He either lets you continue living in your own body, yeah, or you let Johnny live in your own body. Oh, okay. But so one of you has to die. I know that part. Uh, I picked the one where like. Uh... I let Johnny keep my body, and then that's the ending I got. So I didn't get the- I didn't use the, uh, second ending. Or, like, the second option. Well, in the second option, uh, basically, V becomes, like, a multi-gazillionaire and whatnot. And, like, they're as, as powerful as Rogue was, or Johnny was, back in the day. Like, they have their own, like, secret services. They wear like the fanciest clothing. They're respected, all that sort of stuff. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah, and then they have a final job they have to do. Uh oh. <laughs> Basically, uh, do you know how Arasaka has a space station? Yeah. The final gig is that they were gonna go ahead. To be and honest, try I didn't. I didn't know that. that I didn't know they had, to, they had a spaceship. <laughs> Well, they had a, a space center that they were building. I didn't know that. I, I saw the spaceship, yeah. but I didn't know they had a whole space center you can go into. Yeah, and in the final gig, they go ahead and uh, go into space with their astronaut suit and try to 1v all the entire space center. Oh my god. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Yeah, and I think that's the uh, ending. That's pretty cool. Did you do the Arasaka ending? Nah, I only did one ending. Are you serious? Oh god! Yeah, I, I felt like I had enough cyberpunk at that point. <laughs> I kind of like the Nomad yeah, ending. Because you run away oh, from like... Grid. And I thought that was oh, pretty cool. cool. Okay, okay. Oh god. Take that! You a soreless creature! They haven't circled my position! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the nuke! Oh it's the nuke! No! <laughs> I perish. I'm gonna pick you up. That was my chance to pick you up. Oh, well, I'll revive in the next round. Let's get that dude. Fortune and glory. Fortune and glory. Head towards the mystery box. Oh, dang. I thought those were those monkeys? No, no, they're not monkeys. <laughs> no, we haven't even gotten a fur candle. I know, it's just the color looked like the monkeys were coming. I was like, excuse me? <laughs> oh, you're at the box already? Yeah. Oh, dang. oh I got the dingo. They're all coming right after you. I'm. Security protocol one three 
So, after trying two endings so far, what do you rate Cyberpunk? Uh, so far, I'd give it, a, I'd give it an, an 8 out of 10. Okay, like a 10. solid 8 out of 10. Why not anything above or below? Well, the reason why it's not like a 9 or a 10 is just, there's still bugs in the game. It's not a lot, but like, there's a couple bugs you'll notice. Like, some of the bugs I found were like, uh, you'll hear like, like a car horn, like a har car horn go off, or like, the whole entire game, <laughs> until you load a different save file. I see. Or, you'll hear like the, uh, you know when you're hacking something and it does like that weird kind of noise? Oh, yeah? Well, like once you finish hacking, it's still kind of doing that noise until you load a different save file. Oh, I think I know what you mean. Yeah, but besides that, also uh, sometimes, like, in uh, cutscenes, uh, the background will go black for some reason. <laughs> it only happened, like, twice. Was it, like, a very intense change, or was it just, like... It's really a noticeable. Like the whole background is just black. And <laughs> Why was it doing like something intense? Was it like okay, changing? Here. Let me uh, thing? let me put you in. Let me put you in my seat. So, do you remember the part where uh, your best friend dies and he gets like he gets like shot and like you're in the taxi and you're driving to go uh, drop yeah. off the shard? Well, that whole background behind him was just black. <laughs> oh my gosh! And like I tried to pretend like it was nothing. I was like, oh, dude, it's just part of the game. <laughs> Yeah. Did you think it was part of the game? No, I knew it wasn't part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what was the second time then? Uh, the second time. No, it wasn't part of the game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, what was the second oh time? Oh my god. <laughs> it's so loud. What happened? I hear my voice. Okay, so the second time was. When, um. Let me see if I can remember. Okay, you know, like, okay, so you know when you beat the game and the the credit show, like credit show, and like yeah. you'll get like phone calls from like the people he helped out throughout Cyberpunk. Yeah. So uh, there was one guy. Uh, it's the guy. It's who's like running for uh, governor, and like. Hold on. Anyways, how how is my uh, viewers doing today? I don't know if you guys saw, but uh, I posted a whole new schedule, a whole new uh, streaming schedule. So I'm going to be uh, streaming more often now, which is pretty cool and pretty exciting. So I hope you guys can uh, join me in my journey. Aren't you streaming tomorrow as well? Yeah, I am. <laughs> okay, but anyways, uh, the second time that happened was... Uh, so you know that, that governor dude you're helping out? And then I guess you get to mm -hmm. like the third mission where uh, you find out that people are brainwashing them. Okay. So that guy calls you and he's like, "Oh, my wife was planning this whole like this whole brainwash thing from the start." So uh, when when he's talking, like the whole background behind him is just black, <laughs> just pitch black. Oh my God. It was just like a like was a cutout of him in the, in, like a black screen. Humility. Oh my god. So, from what I'm hearing is, the bugs are holding it back. Yeah, just those, yeah, just those bugs. Also, um... What else? What else do I have a problem with the game? Oh yeah, uh, like, sometimes the... any other... Sometimes the frames would drop, like, kinda hard. <laughs> really? Yeah, it didn't happen often, maybe like, it happened like maybe once or twice. Just was it like, like um, during the uh, the uh, gunplay or the uh, combat sequences? Yeah, it was like during the gunfight. Uh, sometimes like somebody will throw a grenade and like the whole screen will just like start dropping frames. <laughs> I see. Huh. So what I'm hearing is, is that fundamentally the game is perfect. It's just that the bugs are holding it back. Yeah, pretty much. Like, the graphics are pretty amazing. They're top-notch now. Like, comparing to, like, what it is now to, to what it was when it first came out, there's, like, a, like a huge difference. 
Okay, so there's no fundamental flaws in the mechanics or the gameplay that you dislike. No, it's all it's all nice. But sometimes I'm not gonna lie, the AI, uh, <laughs> like sometimes the AIs will like walk backwards or they walk in place. <laughs> My God. Or sometimes the AIs will like like um, sink into like a car. <laughs> What? So like when I'm trying to sneak kill somebody, there was a there was a guy who just like hid inside the car. <laughs> oh my god! And I was like, oh my god, how do I kill this guy? <laughs> I think I just so shot at the car and I just somehow like managed to kill him, or like the car did a backflip and just landed on top of him. I see. There is a lot of that... like there is a lot of do in Cyberpunk, which is pretty cool. Um, but like I'm not gonna lie, uh, it ca it kind of gets really repetitive because of the shooting and whatnot. The gigs and uh, some of the like the MPD stuff you have to do, where you have to help out the police. They're just kind of uh, like copy and paste. I see no real difference or whatnot. Yeah, like sometimes in the gigs, uh, you have to like. Like sneak into like a building and like install like uh, frameware or hot like yeah like like some frameware and then you have to leave the building quietly. <laughs> I think uh, I did like four or six of those missions like kind of like similar to that. Okay, so part of the mission design is not that great. Yeah, but like I'm not gonna lie, there are some pretty cool like side missions and gigs that you can do. Like, uh, sometimes, like that, uh, uh, when you're helping out the police, and you get it like that, you, you might get some, like, really, really good, oh, damn, I went down, you might get some, like, really good loot, or, like, armor. Like, I think one time I found, like, uh, some glasses that can, like, make me hack, like, 8% faster. Uh -huh. And, oh my god, like, when I started hacking, it was just, like, instant. <laughs> oh my god. Here, let me get on the on the pad. All right. Did they look cool at least? Oh yeah, it was pretty cool. Okay. So do you say that? Okay, go 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 go, go 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 go. Oh. Oh, I can't activate. Oh, dang the it! <laughs> <laughs> you were in the way. Okay, so do you say that Cyberpunk is on, like, equal terms with Red Dead Redemption? Um, I don't know about that. But I thought you said it was, like, one of the perfect games. It is a perfect game, but, like, um, Red Dead Redemption has, like, a way better story. Oh, I see. You also see the new DLC they're coming out with? Oh, the new Cyberpunk DLC? Yeah, I saw it. It's perfect timing, too, because I just finished the game. <laughs> <laughs> it, gives, it gives me more like more Cyberpunk in my life. I... Okay, what map do you want to play? The Giants. Let's see. Baruk. Shinonima. Shino Shinonimi. Shinonuma. <laughs> Shinonima. Noct. Kino. Ascension. Shangri-La. Moon. Or organs. Organs? Organs. Oh my god. Uh, let's try Shadows of Evil. Oh my god. <laughs> Shadows of Evil is not an option. You have to pick something else. <laughs> oh my god. Really? You, you just like the map? Uh -huh. Thank you for the Batman emoji. Yeah, I hate the map. It sucks. <laughs> oh my god. I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh my god, thank you for the bad emoji, but I hate that map. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, let's try Shino Numa. Okay. Oh, uh, do you still want to do the, uh, the Breaking Bad cosplay for Halloween? Oh, uh, yeah. You said the uh, hazmat suits? 
Yeah, like shave my head. Oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna wear a fake goatee. Yeah. No, actually, no, I'm like... just gonna grow out my goatee. Oh my god. Angel, I don't think that's gonna be enough time. Hey, Ethan. Hmm. Are you. Cl uh, I can hear an, an echo into my microphone. Or in, in your microphone. Really? Yeah. Uh, what type of echo? Like, I can hear myself through your microphone. How? I have headphones on. Here, disconnect your headphones. Oh no. Okay, yeah, it sounds better. What? Do you have your uh, your headphones uh, back in? No, they're off. I'll plug them back in. This is so <laughs> You shouldn't be able to hear yourself. <laughs> I don't think I can hear what? myself now. Yeah, I don't hear the myself. The mic is anymore. in a Okay. It was just weird, like I can like hear myself like slightly. <laughs> I think you're starting to break, Angelo. <laughs> I'm starting to go insane. <laughs> 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 okay. I just become a blue lobster. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Are you going to wear the glasses and the age makeup, Angelo? Yeah. I got to go all out. How much do you think is going to cost? Not that much. I just have to shave my head and like grow out my, my whole beard. <laughs> I think a hazmat suit is going to be a bit heavy. So. Really? Yeah, I, I just searched one up earlier. for, uh, And it's like $1,000. We're not getting the real hazmat suits, Ethan. <laughs> We're not? No! <laughs> Are you serious? Uh -huh. <laughs> We're gonna get the ones you can buy off of Amazon for like a dollar. <laughs> those exist? That's oh, crazy. Yeah, those definitely exist. It might not be a dollar, but I know for a fact those exist. I like Party City. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you guys can have Maybe they have hazmat suits. <laughs> Do you have the Breaking Bad outfits? Oh my god. <laughs> Do you guys can have the new Crash Bandicoot costume? Aw, <laughs> uh, you, you should have Naomi dress up as the uh, Crash Bandicoot one. Oh my god. <laughs> what, should I have her dress up as the mask? Yeah. Do you already get the money from here? No, I don't. Dang. Oh. <laughs> I'm out of cash. How am I supposed to make do with this? Oh. You gotta make it work. What? Oh no, I, I missed it. <laughs> There's no other way to shoot a sniper if you don't quick scope. I see. Oh, are you gonna carry around the uh, some blue rock candy so you can <laughs> pass it off? No, I'm gonna... I think I might just get, like, blue Jolly Ranchers and just crush them. Oh, that's good. Should we dress up as, like, when they're wearing hazmat suits, or should we just dress up when they're, like, in their, uh, like, normal outfits? I feel like hazmat suits would be a bit more easier. Okay. Because, like, they wear different stuff every episode. It'd be hard to pick and point, like, a, a good one. But you have to you have to at least wear a beanie. All right, maybe if I can find one. I do have a couple of beanies in the house. Well, there you go.
We'll also put a needle in your arm too, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 so messed up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I was pretty messed up. Was <laughs> <laughs> when Halloween yeah. goes too far. <laughs> <laughs> you see multiple wounds on the arm. Oh my god, it's, it's just a cosplay, <laughs> man. <laughs> It starts spreading towards the face. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta put in the brain, dog. It, it, it gets faster, though. <laughs> no, there's nothing over here. You got zombies with you. Oh, no, you're up here. Uh, which version of Walter and Jesse are we gonna be as? Like early stages, late stages, like mid period? Uh, early stages. Oh, okay. So you just gotta rock a mustache and that's it. No, we do like we'll do the part where like he's already bald. Yeah. Uh, isn't he already bald and had a, a mustache earlier? In? Instead of a goatee. Oh yeah, he did. Eh, I think I would look better like with the whole goatee. I see. So like when he's working for Gus. Yeah. But that's like mid period though. And? <laughs> <laughs> you said early stages, Angela. Well, I thought those were the early stages. I think that's in like season two or late season two or early season three. So I yeah, I think yeah, I think it's uh like beginning of season three. Or you can go like really early and just have a full head of hair and, and a just mustache. underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could do that. You can, and you can also like, like have like face makeup where you get beaten up. Or I can just beat you up in real life. Oh my God, Angela, no! <laughs> do it for the cosplay. <laughs> Angela, no! <laughs> That's a horrible idea. <laughs> I feel like you'd get arrested though for public indecency. <laughs> they won't know. How? I just uh, I just do it at your house. I'm sure you're having a lot of trouble <laughs> when you're sleeping. Angela, <laughs> no. I'll wear this shirt uh that we made on a uh, Jackbox, uh, the Get Ranch Bro. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, you should get the one that has your address. No. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be funny though. Yeah, yeah. It's not funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. We'll put your address next time. <laughs> we just put everyone's address on the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we just put like just every person. We just get docked so it. hard. <laughs> every person, every single person has their own address on their shirt. <laughs> oh my god. It's a terrible idea. It's the, it's the doxing party. <laughs> oh my god. Come dressed as your address. I require more money. Open. Oh, you know what you should play after Cyberpunk though, Angel? Uh, I, I know what you're gonna tell me. What? Uh, you're gonna tell me to play Psycho Elysium. No, Disco Elysium. I'm to play Garfield Kart for the end. Yo, Garfield! I freaking love Garfield! <laughs> oh my god, you have a stroke. <laughs> <laughs> Local fan died a stroke when he heard the words Garfield. <laughs> Suspects believed to think that he was a sleeper agent. Garfield cat. <laughs> Garfield the sleeper agent. <laughs> that's that's the code to break me out. He's Garfield. <laughs> <laughs> you kill for the lasagna. <laughs> Operation Garfield card. <laughs> Operation Garfield. <laughs> but yeah, you should play this game. 
Is that the game you want me to play right after Cyberpunk? Yeah, it's really good. What do you think, viewers? Should I play Disco Elysium? Comment down below on my YouTube channel. <laughs> but yeah, comment down below if you want me to play Disco, uh, Disco Elysium. Oh my god. Well, I still have to also uh, play The Last of Us as well. You mean part two? No, the first one. Like the remake. Oh, okay. Well, it's technically the same game. I know, but I, I still kind of want to play it again. I, for, I, I haven't played it in a long time. Hmm. It's still really good. Yeah, it still is. I do like the new animations, though. They're pretty cool. Yeah, it's like, it's just, it's kind of like if they gave it a, like a Last of Us 2 uh, graphic DLC, or, yeah. But like the whole animation and like the whole, like the, the vibrating with the controllers is pretty cool. Yeah, I like it. I think like my favorite part is like, uh, I think I was like walking past like a generator and you could feel like the, gener the, the generator on one side of the controller. Oh, I see. And I, I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, whoa, that's pretty awesome. I can feel the generator. <laughs> and then I pour water in it and I die. Oh my god. <clears throat> I do like the uh, gunsmithing sort of animation. They're really cool. Mm -hmm. They look They're so like, clean. It's way better than the, than the actual first game. <laughs> when he's like just doing it all behind his shoulders, you, like, you can't see. Yeah. <clears throat> and now as you can see in full HD 4K 60 FPS. So Times 500. The game is so good that it can make you blind. Oh, you know, you know what's coming up, Ethan. What? My annual top 10 video games of the year list. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, Wonder Wolf! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> how'd you get the Wonder Wolf? <laughs> yeah, uh, how'd you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> how'd you know I didn't just scream it out loud? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, uh, what's your top 10? Let's start with number 10, though. Let's start at the worst. Okay, wait. I have to, like, I have to look for my list. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's save this, the last zombie. It should be somewhere in here. <laughs> Don't listen to me, I have enough paper. Oh, that's 2021, oh my gosh. Where is it? It can't be that far down, Angelo. <laughs> Did you write it in like some obscure page of your notebook? I put, it's probably just some random page. <laughs> my gosh. Couldn't you just write it down off the top of your head? Found it. I found it. Alright, you found it? Yeah. Alright, take a picture of it so you don't lose it next time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I had to turn on my light and everything for this. I'll be careful, Angel! 
I can I can read the list and play with the game at the same time. Alright. So we're, we're gonna start bottom. we're gonna start from number one and we're gonna go down the list. Or do you want me to nah, go down I'll, like from number let's ten go to down. one? We we haven't gone down enough before, so let's go at the worst. Okay. So number ten. Uh I might have to put it at Lego Star Wars. Lego Star Wars? I thought yeah. you'd enjoy it. I did like enjoy it, but I don't know. I feel like it would have been way much better with like co-op, with like playing with someone else. I know I me and Carla try to play it, but we never, we never actually got to play it. So it's more of like a buyer's remorse type deal. Yeah, where like it's much funner when you play with other people. Okay. Actually, I really Remember? don't have a top. I really don't have a top ten list. I just have a top six list so far. Okay. Okay, so number Remember five. Remember you were so convinced that Lego like, Star Wars had multiplayer? Yeah, I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to play <laughs> with Ethan. <laughs> and then I found out it's not for multiplayer. What's number nine? Oh, there's no number nine. Number five is uh, a Tiny Tina. Oh, I see. I thought you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was pretty fun, but it's also like the same thing where like it's much funner when you play with other people. I see. So it's kind of boring alone. Yeah. So there's no like uh, anything about the gameplay you hate about it or whatnot. No, it's it's pretty fun. Like it's it's kind of like just like the gameplay is pretty much just Borderlands, but everything yeah. about the, like everything about the whole game is just completely different. Like I like the whole RPG system in the game. I like when you get to roll the uh, the D and D dice. That was pretty cool. What do you mean roll the D and D dice? There's D and D. The whole game is like based on D and D, Ethan. Well, yeah, but it's not like you're, it's not like making an actual roll. It's all pre-made. No, but like uh, there's a D and D dice like laying around the map, and every time you roll it, uh, depending on what you get on the dice, is what kind of loot you would get. So if you get a twenty, you get like a like a legendary off the bat. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And like if you get a one, you just get garbage. <laughs> <laughs> But the, yeah, I instantly log you out of the game. <laughs> Deletes the whole game from your PlayStation. <laughs> Deletes your account. Oh my god. <laughs> Releases your social security number to the public. I got your job. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh my god. I was not ready for that. Oh god, I didn't see that. I just... Did you die? Shush. Okay, number four is... uh. Ghostwire Tokyo. Okay, that one's pretty good okay. too. Uh, you said it was repetitive, right? Yeah, but like, yeah, it it, it is got a kind of repetitive because it can happen like you have to clear like a whole like whole a whole area of demons. <laughs> hmm. Um. Also. So the next one, number three, is uh. Eternal. That one was actually kind of fun. That one yeah, was actually really fun. I remember really you fun. telling me like, yeah, how like there's so many details and the gameplay and whatnot. I just like the whole like the whole factor is uh like however uh, how far you get into the game is like how much loot you get to keep. You can like have you can have like save points and like checkpoints and stuff like that. So like when you die, you come back alive. And so there's also like, like this uh, really, uh, there's this uh, really nice perk called uh, astronaut. Oh my god, it's like it's pretty much an extra life, like with full health and everything. Oh, it's the best. <laughs> I see. So you really like rogue type games? It was pretty good. It was pretty. It's 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 hard, too. Like every time I would fight the boss, uh, I would have to play like the whole map again and get a bunch of loot just so I can actually fight the boss like fully prepared. And it would suck, like, when you would die, <laughs> and like, you lose your checkpoint before actually fighting the boss. Oh, I see. Or you lose your extra life before you actually fight the boss, and then you have to fight the boss, like, risking it all. 
Dang. Okay, okay, what's the number two? Um, I have Mario Galaxy on here. As number two? Yeah. That game is, oh, uh, okay. magnifico. <laughs> oh, so it's not cyberpunk then? It's, no, it's not cyberpunk good. Oh, no! Cyberpunk's not, like, Mario Galaxy good. That's what I need to say. Mario, Mario Galaxy is in a whole other... Galaxy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shoot me. <laughs> I'm gonna leak your address now, Angel. Oh my god, just because of that <laughs> terrible joke. <laughs> no, but really, it's a it's a really good, uh, fun game. And I never played it before, because I never uh, had a Wii growing up. Okay. So, uh, it was it was really nice just getting a chance to play it. I see. The one like, <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. The one power up I did hate in Mario Galaxy was the, uh, it was like a like a spring. Why do you hate that power up? Dude, that power up sucks. It's so cool. You can spring around. Yeah, but like, like trying to stay you like in spring, one place is impossible. <laughs> so you're just there to have fun though. It's awesome your spring. The spring is terrible. I hate this that power up. But I but I can say my whole my favorite power up in that whole entire game is the uh the bumblebee power up. Uh the bumblebee power up? Yeah, that one's pretty solid. I see. My favorite one is the uh Did the I one ask? Where you're oh. oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Go go ahead. All right, his address is uh Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna dox you. <laughs> alright. Alright. The my favorite one is the uh, one where you're free flying. The red mushroom. I mean the black mushroom. I never got that mushroom before. Oh yeah, it's really cool. You get to like free fly and fly in any Oh direction. actually no no yeah 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 yeah. I, I did pick up that mushroom. I know which one you're talking about. That one's actually kinda cool, but I don't I don't like the whole like moving with your controller to like fly in like in a direction. But it's still pretty cool. Yeah. I think I tried to 100% that game. I'm, I was kind of close. I just stopped playing. <laughs> okay, so I'm surprised to hear what number one is. You already know what number one is. Number one is Blue Lobster. Uh, actually, no, number one is, uh, Elden Ring. That's lame. Pick another. No, Dude, you can't lie. Elden Ring was probably the best game throughout this whole year. The art design, like, the enemies in the game, the music. I don't know. I played a really <laughs> lot of good games this year. Really? Let me hear your top like... ten list. Alright. Uh, starting from number 10, it's going to be Tiny Tina. Tiny me. Tina? Yeah. Yeah. It's really like... For me, I don't know. It just seems so boring, the whole concept of it. The whole concept? Well, <laughs> Is it not like well, Borderlands not fun? Well, yeah, but like... There's just like so many like... Rolls and all these extra stuff. I felt like I was playing a Borderlands mod. <laughs> a Borderlands mod? <laughs> in a Borderlands. shitty game? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so harsh. <laughs> it's like yeah. playing a shitty modded game of Borderlands. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. Like, Borderlands 2 is like peak Borderlands. Like, nothing can get better. Oh my god, I just died. I got you, Ethan. Oh no, you already have that anyways. But yeah, Tiny Tina is just part of the weakest Borderlands I've ever played. Well, is it, is it technically a Borderlands game, or is it just something else completely? Uh, it's still part of the series, basically. You think they're gonna make another Borderlands game? Probably. What is it, what is it gonna be, like Borderlands 5? It's probably gonna be Borderlands 4. Borderlands 3 was good. Oh yeah, yeah, I totally forgot. There was a, I thought I thought it was like like Borderlands 1, 2, and uh, 1, 2, 3, and 4, but no, I was wrong. 
Now it's Borderlands 1, 2, pre-sequel, 4. No, I meant 3. <laughs> 4. <laughs> Just confirmed it instantly. <laughs> Ethan confirmed it. <laughs> no, no, it's not 4. Okay, okay. So anyway, the main point here, Tiny Tina is not that good. Okay. Number 9, for me. Uh, it's Burger King foot lettuce. It's, <laughs> it'd probably be like... I was gonna say either The Last of Us Part 1. Oh, The Last of Us Part 1? That's number 9? Yeah. Yeah. Well, because... Mostly because it's just a game I already played before. Oh, okay. Fair enough. It, so there's like all the uh, cool stuff in it, doesn't really hit the second time. But it is cool seeing all the new animation stuff in it and whatnot. Right. Number 8 is uh, Cooking Mama for the DS. And, uh, <laughs> Gee, <laughs> cooking Mama on the DS? <laughs> nah. Number 8 is probably going to be like Mario 64 for the Switch. Oh, you, you finally played it? Yeah. I played it before, but uh, during my time on the Switch version, I think my it was pretty fun. Although, uh, sometimes it would act kind of funny though. Well, yeah, it's still kind of the same like Mario N64 with like the terrible camera. Yeah, like... It was... Like, it's good, so like, there's some problems with it, you know? Yeah. It's a fun game, so... We're gonna go over here. Let's turn on this generator real quick. I cannot outrun my enemy in this mud! Alright, Number six. Do you already do number seven? Uh, yeah, that was the, uh, Mario 64. And then what was number eight? Number eight? Yeah. It was the uh, Last of Us Part 1. Oh, okay. Then what was number 9? <laughs> number 9 was Cooking for the DS. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we. All right, did I skip a number? Yeah, I think you skipped like 7 or 8. No, yeah, you okay, skipped 8. I, think... I skipped 8? No, I think, I think I skipped 7. No, because it was like I can't believe we're <laughs> I can't believe you can't remember any of this because it was I have a short torn memory, all right. <laughs> I forgot. I we, forget Ethan what is, I'm talking about. Ethan like, is like ninety five percent like elder person. Shut up! <laughs> no, I'm not in a nursing home, okay? You have the Gosh. mind of an elder person and the body of like a five year old. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, number. <laughs> Okay, okay number so seven. number number ten was Tiny Tina, and then number nine was The Last of Us. All right, number nine was The Last of Us. Number eight was uh, gosh darn, I forgot. Oh yeah, Mario sixty four. Okay, number eight. Let's get to number seven. Number now. seven. Shush. Don't judge me for that. You're taking more okay. longer to remember your top ten list than was it than it was for me to find mine. Okay, okay, number seven. It's probably gonna be Dragon Ball Fighter Z. Oh, you played it again? Yeah, I played it again. It was pretty good. Although, uh, I couldn't get all the characters. Why not? DLC. Oh, yeah, the DLC. I think I have all the uh, characters on my Switch. Yeah. But I think it was a pretty good game. Pretty good game. The child speaks to the very air. Is she an angel? I think we should play it when there's like a raid going on, because that's when it really gets crazy. Okay. Because like, you get the multiplayer on a raid. Oh yeah, I've I seen videos of that before, it's, it actually kind of looks fun. And you can pick like the difficulty and everything. Yeah, and like we can go ahead and be on a team or whatnot. Yeah, we can do that. So that's gonna be for number 7. Okay. Number 6. Probably gonna be. Uh, let's see. I am imbued Are you gonna get Jug? Oh, Jug. Get this shit apart real quick. All right. From these small pieces, number six is probably gonna be, be Black Ops Zombie. Well, Black Ops. Uh oh, uh -oh. Zombie. the uh, the guys coming out. 
Okay. Alright, zombies, but for a Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2? It's gonna be, yeah. Ah, so you like Black Ops 2 zombies, I see. Yeah, it's pretty good, it's pretty good. What do you think of Transit? Uh, I played it, I think it's one of the coolest maps I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. I you know, oh my god, look out. Shoot him in the face, shoot him in the face. I am. Run. Okay, okay. Get out of there. Okay, okay. But yeah, Transit is probably one of my favorite maps so far. Seems really oh cool. no! I'm stuck! Alright, uh... I'm gonna see if I can get towards you. Okay. Dead end! But yeah, Transit, one of the best maps out there. Really? I'm surprised. Four. How, why are you surprised? Did you play? Uh, did you play any of the DLC ones? I. Th what was like, the DLC ones? Uh, I think it was buried. Um, not called oh, the dead. Buried. Uh, what was that? What was the one that it was like them in jail? Oh yeah, buried. Oh, that was pretty no, cool. not buried. It was a different name. Nuketown? No. Oh, wait, I can't remember the, the name. I'm, I'm pretty sure somebody who's watching knows and is like screaming at us. It's like, oh, how do you not know? <laughs> All right, can you tell me the description? Though? Here, I'll look it up. Alcatraz. Oh, Alcatraz. Yeah, that one's a that one's a tough cookie. That's like one of the hardest maps I played. It's really fun. I, I like that. I like it a lot. It, it is pretty fun for a while. For a while, it's fun like, entirely. You get the golden well, spoon. Yeah. The golden spoon was awesome. <laughs> Yeah, but we gotta get out like here. We gotta Easter get out. Egg. Okay. It feels like. Okay. It reminds me of like Origins of how Easter egg heavy it is. So I feel like it'd be better if I like played the it. Golden, uh, the golden. The golden spoon is not even a part of the whole Easter egg. It's just like a, like a secret weapon you can just pick up. Really? Yeah. Okay. You get like you. Oh damn! If you're not doing the Easter egg, you can like go pick it up without like, like having to like do anything special. Dang, um, I just saw you disappear. You just like <laughs> vanished from thin air. <laughs> On my screen, right. it looked like you left the lobby before they killed you. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, number five is probably gonna be. I don't know if this counts as a game, but like Dungeons and Dragons, if I could. No, that does not count as a game. Dang, alright. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. wait. We'll let the viewers decide, and then like when we when we when we ever uh sorry I had a mini stroke. Whenever we stream again, uh, I'll tell you what the viewers said. So tell us, right. do you think D and D is uh appropriate for a top ten game list? Can't you like set up a poll or something? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> All right. You figure it out. <laughs> Actually, maybe I can figure it out. I'll, and like when I post this uh, this video onto my uh, onto the onto my YouTube channel, uh, I might have a poll down in the description so you guys can click on. Okay. okay. Let me see if I can make one right now. Anyways, uh, keep going with your list. Okay, so number uh, five would probably be Fallout New Vegas. Um, the Breaking Bad Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you do you want to tell the viewers about that? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's interesting enough for them anyway. Okay. We just barely played. That is true. But yeah, uh, Fallout New Vegas was pretty good. I I'm not gonna lie, I didn't like the uh, like uh, the whole face mod you added into that game, like oh, enhancing like enhancing the characters. No, I just didn't like it. It, it looked so gross. It looked it made them look so out of place. <laughs> okay, okay, fine. There were other face mods that look more close to like high resolution. Nah, you should have done that. I would have liked that one better. I would have, 
But like... But I want a trash instead. <laughs> <laughs> Shush. Alright. I woulda, but due to unfortunate circumstances, I couldn't. So I just got the next best thing. So yeah. That'd be number five. Number four is probably gonna be oh, it's either probably like Yakuza. Why did Rick talk Yakuza? Bring I have I haven't played that game yet. Oh, uh, I think you're gonna love it, Angela. It's it was like it was free on the PlayStation uh thing, wasn't it? Yeah, you should get it. It's like uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure and God of War in the one. Oh my god! <laughs> you had me hooked yeah. when with JoJo. Yeah. It's basically like that, Angela. Oh, gee, uh, did you see the new JoJo game came out? Oh, uh, JoJo All Stars? Yeah. Are you gonna get it? I, I want to. But I don't know if I could justify it. <laughs> Justify? What do you mean? Yeah, like, justify the purchase of the game. Oh my fuck! What do you mean? You buy, like... <laughs> what do you even make it? You buy, like... You buy, like, every single game on, like, a Thursday, Angel. I know, but... Uh... I don't know if I need another fighting game. <laughs> you say that about everything, Angel. That's true, that's true. Then I buy it the next day. <laughs> I remember you telling me, I had enough of RPGs, and then you continue to play Cyberpunk. That is true, I did say that. Cyberpunk was pretty fun though. Good yeah. times. But Yakuza is pretty crazy though. It's really good. I'll check it out. Yeah. Although it is a bit dialogue heavy in the beginning <laughs> though. So uh, that's why I uh, put it low on the rank. <laughs> so what's your next, uh, what's your next game? Alright, number four, let's see, is probably going to be, it's probably going to be Ghost of Tsushima for me. Well, that, yeah, that's, <clears throat> that's pretty fun too. How far did you, did you, did you beat the game? Uh, yeah, I beat the game. I'm basically 100%ing it, but then I quit. <laughs> must get to the teleporter. But yeah, it was a pretty fun game with the stealth and the combat. It, it was cool. I I never I don't think I ever went stealth before. Only when I, I was told to, like in missions. Yeah, but stealth is pretty crazy once you get the hang of it. I would mostly just like uh, run up to everybody and just kill them all. That was it was much funner did that you, way. Did you try to be like honorable or whatnot? Oh yeah. I was the most honorable samurai ever. <laughs> I think I was playing it on. Uh, I was also playing it on hard as well, which was made it more funner. I see. I became like the most unhonorable samurai ever. <laughs> I, I was I committing war crimes. Oh my god. <laughs> Like, I was throwing gas, it was messed up. Oh my god, I can't put my mask on! I'm gonna die because I can't put my mask on! <laughs> Revive me! Oh! <laughs> we couldn't make it. It wouldn't let me put my mask on! <laughs> the game just said no. <laughs> no. <laughs> nah, you wanna you play Moon playing. too bad. <laughs> All right, number three is gonna be Death Stranding. Death Stranding. I never. Uh, I don't think I ever. I don't think I finished that game yet. Yeah, it's still really good for me. I got past like, like the first keep... boss, and that was it. Yeah, I think I finished the game and all of its bonus content, and I still keep playing it. Dang, I, I have you one hundred percent. It's really addicting. It uh, no, but I'm actually getting pretty close, closer than I usually am. Here, I'm gonna look it up right now. I'm gonna judge your gamer score. Alright, judge. Dang, no platinums score. yet? Dang. Angel Eye. It's not Wheel like of Fortune? Starting. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, I'm playing Wheel of Fortune. You got a problem? Let me see, where is. 
Should I look at your gamer score, Angelo? Huh? Oh no, yeah, you should. <laughs> I don't know if you should do that. <laughs> Since you want to bring it up. Alright, audience, let's look up what Angel's been playing. Oh no. He's been playing Garfield Kart. <laughs> oh no, don't <laughs> expose me like that. You can't know about Garfield Kart. <laughs> He's been playing The Sims. Ooh, this is interesting. Why did Rick I'm still looking for uh, for Death Stranding. It's been a while since I played, so that's probably why. Dang. It has to be before I read that too, right? Fortnite. I think it was. You played Fortnite? Yeah, I tried playing it. What are we dropping, boys? It was pretty good, so... <laughs> Get out. I give it a number one. Am I no. <laughs> okay, but... My number three... Was, uh... Really? Okay. Did I tell you already? No, you haven't told me. Oh yeah, Death Stranding. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, it's really good. So number two, <laughs> it's really good. Okay, number two. Uh, <laughs> I I already told you about it though. Alright. So number two, I think you're gonna be a bit surprised. Uh -oh. I'm gonna put Elden Ring as number two. Uh, I can believe it. I'm kind of curious what number one is now. Yeah. Number one for me is uh, Disco Elysium. I haven't. Oh, I I haven't played it to like. To judge it yet yeah but like i finished the game like five times already five times <laughs> yeah and it's completely different each time round it's like a uh, fallout new vegas but like with the i, I don't know how to describe it actually it it's really tough but fallout new vegas and cyberpunk is probably the closest i can describe it or the witcher oh, okay well, i need to i need to test it out now yeah, so basically, your build is like, uh, affects how the game plays out. So like, no experience is quite the same if your stats are different. Oh, okay. So like, here, how can I describe it? So it's kind of like Inside Let's Out. Say... Yeah, it's Inside Out, basically, uh, but you're a detective. I need to play it now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, think about it like this. Imagine, like, uh, you're interrogating someone, right? Uh huh. And they tell you to search for a bag in a back alleyway. If you have, like, an intelligence build, you can figure out the, ba the bag they're describing doesn't actually exist, and they're just lying to you. Oh, <laughs> dang! <laughs> yeah. Or if you have, like, a high, um, what's it? Emotionally intelligent stat. Emotionally intelligent, can... excuse me? Yeah. Basically, there's another stat that's uh, called your psychology, their psychological intelligence. Okay. Basically, your empathy. You have a heart attack. Your... <laughs> it doesn't finish telling me. <laughs> yeah. Well, basically, if you do it in that stat instead, you may detect that they're probably holding back on some information they're not telling you. Okay, and then you kind of just break them and let, make them tell you? Yeah. And sometimes the stats will tell you what to do, even if it's not a good idea. <laughs> like, for instance, if you have really high authority, you'll feel the need to, like, assert your dominance in every conversation. Oh my god, <laughs> you gotta be the alpha man all the time. <laughs> Yeah, like, even if you're talking to, like, a little girl or whatnot, you have to assert dominance. Oh my god, you pushed the girl over. <laughs> Kick the sand in her face. Yeah. And it's different every time through as well. Alright, that, that's gonna go on my list now. And there's many different endings as well. And like you can solve the mystery. Are you gonna like? like uh, you... Are you gonna 100% the game? I probably am because of how fun it is. 
it's the achievements are pretty crazy too. Like one of the achievements is to like solve the mystery without talking to like to anybody. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Jesus. <laughs> and then there's another one where you have to like um I think uh <laughs> Pretend that you're like a cop from the 1960s and act that way for like five days, I think. Oh, that's pretty cool. And then there's the another door. one if you, and then there's like another one if you like play a board game against somebody and like win. A board game? Yeah. And like your stats go into. <laughs> To how you play the board uh, game? Yeah, they help you out with everything. Okay, I'll play. I'll I'll play it one one day. Nothing feels better than getting. And then I never play it. <laughs> I wait until next year to play it. Yeah. It reminds me of Fallout New Vegas because of how many choices there are. Oh god! We haven't found the mystery box yet. I don't know. Let's go. Let's go find the mystery. Should we just get a gun at the wall? I already have a gun off the wall. <laughs> Let me see if they have the hacking yeah, thing now. Do they? Uh, I haven't found it yet. Is the hacking thing really important? Mm, not really. It's just I, 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 I like using it. Because you can hack like the, the mystery box and everything, and you can hack like your teammate. So like if you want to give your teammate money, you can just hack him and like give him like, like a couple oh, shit. bucks or something. Oh, I see. Is it like infinite? Uh, you, yeah, yeah, you can do it for like a really long time. Oh, I see. So you can just grind. Pretty much. It's 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 nice. But like the okay. the bad part about using the hacking device is that uh, you can't wear your spacesuit while using it. Oh, I see. So that's the catch. Yeah. You'd be a little too overpowered if you did that. I see, I see. But finding it, I just don't know where to find that thing. Oh, that's the window. Where did you go? I'm downstairs. Oh, that's double tap. Yeah, where is the box? <laughs> it just disappeared. Maybe it's in like the main area. Oh, it's, I know where it's at. It's probably outside. Oh. Here, I'm coming back upstairs. Okay, need to find some ammo. Yeah, let's go upstairs. Oh god. Oh no! Oh! Dang! <laughs> we got cornered. We just suck. <laughs> okay, I'll let you yeah. pick uh, the final map. This is gonna be our last map. Let's play Knocked. Knocked? Okay. I'll be right back. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna change my gumballs for this one. I only have one percaholic day. Do I have? 
have something else. Dang it, I only have one free. Okay, actually I have some liquid diabetes. <laughs> liquid diabetes? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just, I'm gonna only use two look at the beauties. Me too. But. Oh, okay. Where's his neck? I got something good. <laughs> I thought that was his neck. <laughs> oh, you don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's pretty cool. Can you hear me? <laughs> What'd you get? <laughs> Oh my god. Hard <laughs> <laughs> to read. No. <laughs> What's going on? Now he's showing me uh, her stick figure drawings. And they're pretty good. So th show the... Uh, the book, to, the book one to Ethan. Um, we were supposed to do drawings for like strategy. And she's like, draw a picture so you can remember. And then the strategy is like, read five minutes a day. Mm -hmm. So I draw a cute book that's saying, <laughs> <laughs> And then the man is like, no. Did you hear that, Ethan? Even left. <laughs> he left the party entirely. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I'll just show it to him. It's much easier if he sees it. Did you get it, Ethan? Mm, let's see. No, I haven't gotten it. Okay. Well, I sent it. Send it to you as a text. Oh, I see. It. I see. It. It's sending. Why are the book so happy? <laughs> I don't know, because he's, it's time to read. Why is that stick figure so angry that it's just he doesn't want to read? Oh, that's a terrible one. Hey, Ethan. If you're gonna open a door, mm -hmm. open this one first. No. <laughs> this is the worst door to open, Angela. No, keep the help door closed. <laughs> no, that's a horrible idea. That's actually a really good idea because you can train in that one no. room. Well, but if you train in this room, you won't be able to like squat up in this room either. I can. <laughs> Yeah, but like you'll have zombies coming in this direction now. And then that's fine. <laughs> you really want to do it that way? Yeah, let's do it that way. All right, let's, I don't have enough. Okay, well let's do it whenever we can. Yeah, yeah, you do. <laughs> Excuse me. No, I have. To... Oh, I do. <laughs> Hold on. You don't need to open it now. <laughs> I already did. Crane. How much is the next door? What do you mean, the next door? This one right here. Alright, and then we just keep this door closed. Why? So, uh, the zombies can't get in. From the other side. And I can mm. just camp in this area right here. I see. This is a. I forgot how slow this map is. Yeah. Is 
So what's your favorite zombies map, Ethan? Zombies map? Like your, Ooh, your top number tricky. one favorite zombies map. Alright. <sighs> top three, I'd have to put them. Okay, number three. It's probably gonna be... Transit. Transit? It's not, I thought it would be yeah, number one. Really, uh, I would, but there are some better maps that I played. Like, transit is really good. I really like the open space. Traveling on a bus, that's awesome. I've never kind, seen what, that in a What kind of scene. open space are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? Are There's no open the space area? in that area. There's like four different lo locations you can go to. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like, you can transport to different areas. It, it's super cool. Unless, like, you, you oh, missed yeah, the bus <laughs> quite completely. Well, yeah, but then you have like open areas of the map, like the barn and everything. Uh, let's see. Number two would probably be. This is tricky, but I think number two would probably be the, uh, the Black Ops 1 game of, uh, uh, the White House. The Lighthouse? No, the White House. Oh, five? Yeah, five. You like five? <laughs> what, you don't like five? Uh, I played, I played way much better Zombies Maps compared to five. <laughs> Oh my gosh. What's wrong with five? It's really cool. I I, I hate the scientist. Uh, you hate him? I hate the little gas uh, little gas creatures that are down like like down in the basement of, of five. I don't know. I just like dogs better than the scientist because if you don't kill the scientist, he just takes your gun completely. Yeah, but that's the fun part. You gotta chase. Him no, down. it's not the fun part. Because what if you have like a shitty gun? <laughs> <laughs> well then, I, I guess uh, that's a bit too bad. <laughs> that's too bad for you, Sonny. Get better. <laughs> uh, hold on, I'll be right back. Oh, no. Is he gonna make me use my gobble gun completely? Okay, what do you think is better than five? Wait, what's, tell me what your number one is first. Nuketown. So, so I can roast you completely. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nuketown. Nuketown? Okay, okay, okay. I'll give you that one. That one, that one is also actually in my to top three list. Yeah, Nuketown's pretty good. Okay, for me, I think uh, number three would be would also be Newtown Zombies. Come on, it's, it's Newtown okay. and it's Zombies. Can't go nothing wrong with that. Mm-hmm. And then number two... Um, tough one. It's probably going to be one from, like, Black Ops 3. Uh, the, the castle one where you have, like, the arrows. That one's pretty fun. Okay. Just because I I love the whole like elemental arrows in that game. Uh so like the elemental staff sort of. Yeah, but the arrows are way much better compared to the staffs. Plus, either it's much easier to get like the, the like the bow and arrow parts compared to the staff. Well, some of them are. The other ones are a little bit tricky. Okay. Okay. And uh. So what do you think is number one? Number one. Uh, I. Hmm, that's a tough one. Number one, because I'm trying to think of like Black Ops zombies, and like the thing that comes to mind that comes to mind is like uh, Call of Dead and like Ascension, Ascension and um. It has to be Kino. I probably yeah, yeah. It might have to be Kino. Number one. Kino. Yeah. Just because, like, Ooh, that's, that's the one, like, that's the one I played the most, and, like, I've gone to, like, level, like, 50 and 60 in, the, in that map. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I have I have so much time in Kino. I think that's like the worst map out there to be oh honest. My. Actually no, uh, I'm gonna change number one to Alcatraz. Alcatraz is, is solid. <laughs> Alcatraz is tra no, I'm just kidding. I think Kino's pretty good, I suppose. I do like the little Easter egg in there. But I, I like Alcatraz. Oh, no, Alcatraz is my, my my real number one. Your real number one? Yeah, Kino was a little bit weak. <laughs> I could I could just I couldn't think of a number one on the spot. But now that I'm actually thinking about it, Alcatraz is my number one. I see. Why Alcatraz? But like the like the original Alcatraz, not the uh, brand spanking new one. The one that's like it's much bigger. No, I don't like that one. Like it, it looks cool and everything, but I don't know. I like the, the original one better because the Easter egg was like uh, you fight your teammate, so it's like three against one. But like, like the like the boss is like super overpowered. Okay, so like it's tough. If we're talking about Easter eggs, I would num Moon would be my number one Easter egg I've done. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was so gorgeous. fun because, like, uh, I think there was like two parts to the Easter egg. Uh, like the first part is like when you open like the triangle in the middle of like a moon, and the second part is when you blow up Earth. Oh, I see. And I remember when we blow up Earth, and I was like, "Whoa, dude, that's awesome!" And then like Black Ops Two came out, and that's when like Transit and everything like was released. I see, so you played the original Moon map. Yeah, oh yeah, I played everything original. That's how old I am. <laughs> I'm like a dinosaur at this point. Dang. <laughs> Maybe you should set up a poll on what the best map should be. How about you set up the poll and just send me the link? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh me. I don't know. The the originals will always be my favorite. Like I like I like the remakes and everything, but I don't know. The originals had like the only reason why I like the originals is because of the guns. Because like when uh, you play like the new updated map, it's like it's the current weapons for that game instead of like the old fashioned ones. Oh, I see. I know in Black Ops when they when they re released all the like the original maps again, and then they released Moon with it. Um, they had, uh, they had some of the old, like, guns, but it was, like, only for, like, the wall weapons. They're, like, when you hit the I box, see, it's, like... like, in Black Ops 3. Yeah, kinda. Actually, Black Ops 3 is completely different, like, the, every wall weapon is completely different from the original ones. Have you played the first Zombies map though? Oh yeah, me and my uh, me and my friend would always play that map for hours. I think the highest we ever got in was like round 15. That was that was like our round 1,000. <laughs> oh my god, round 15 on Nocturne on Totem. Oh yeah, that was like our highest. <laughs> I remember one time my my friend was telling me that he stayed home and he pretended to be sick just so he can play Zombies, and. I remember he showed me like a, he sent me a video of him getting to like l round 100. <laughs> oh my gosh! And like he told me he's like yeah I spent all day just like throwing grenades and killing zombies. <laughs> my goodness. And uh, he how got did he send it through his like Nokia or something? I then like I guess like when I came back home from school <laughs> I came over to his house and I was like whoa dude round 105. <laughs> And then, I, then Did I was. Keep going? No, I told him like, can we play? Can we play now? And he's like, yeah, let me just kill myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. And he just dive bomb into all the zombies. But that's when like, uh, that's when they had like the the glitches not patched and everything. So my friend was like in a glitch oh. spot. Nice. 
DLC, so unpatched, this map would have been twice as fun. Kinda. It was like right here. It was this area where he like camped the whole time. So he would like. Oh yeah, I camp in this area as well. But like all the zombies would kind of like stay right here and they wouldn't get any close to you. I see. It's like, <laughs> dang, <laughs> that's messed up. Yeah, and that's how I got to level, level 100. I think my my highest is uh, I think round 60 on Kino. But I just got I got I just got bored, so I just killed myself. <laughs> I see. I had like the thunder gun and like the ray gun and everything. I think the highest I ever gotten on a round is probably like. Probably like near round ninety, maybe. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> what? I uh, see. I can't do that. I can't spend like all day just like killing zombies. It gets boring. It gets boring by round thirty. Well, you always get the next best thing. You, know? you just watch a video while you kill zombies. I guess, I guess that's true. For me, it was you like the radio. Them. I had the radio when I would <laughs> kill zombies. The radio? Yeah, I had a I had a radio in my room and I would just play that when playing zombies. I was one of those people who would like put their microphone up close to the radio so everybody can hear what you're listening to. <laughs> oh my gosh, why? I, I remember I got messages where it was like, turn off your freaking music. <laughs> <laughs> Did you do it? No, I just left it on. <laughs> okay. I think there was a there was one time where like a guy was like, Do you know the name of that song? <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, I, I don't I don't know the name of the song and I message him back. <laughs> Imagine you just give him a completely made up name. And I just ghosted him. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> he would never know what that song was. He would never know. It was probably like a black eyed peas song or something. <laughs> do you have any old messages that you still have on your Xbox? Uh, I remember on my Xbox One, uh, I got banned like maybe six or five times. <laughs> oh my God, what for, Angel? What for like, <laughs> from like being able to like chat with friends and like join parties. <laughs> Just for that? Yeah, I was. I got banned so many times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, gang, let's play zombie ban. I think it's because like, uh, me and my me and Axel would like uh. We would play Overwatch and we would have like our own little team. <laughs> One time we would, uh, sometimes we would send like, we would invite the other team members to join our party so we could just talk trash to them. Oh my god. <laughs> and we would just like scream at them. <laughs> so the entire time it was like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And then we got banned. <laughs> oh my god. You ever banned the other team? No, no. I, I remember there was a time where I would send like people mean messages and I, I think I got banned. <laughs> I got banned pretty hard. I was like, dang. Oh my gosh. I was a, I was a little angry gamer back then. <laughs> I feel like multiple slurs and so many oh, tugs. It was, it, was, it was heavy on the slurs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Can't gosh. say it on chat. Get banned instantly. <laughs> Imagine like 20 years in the future, you get canceled because of those slurs. <laughs> <Jesus. you said. laughs> those messages we come back to haunt me again. <laughs> <laughs> we just uncovered your Xbox messages. Let's read them out loud. <laughs> I think my favorite my favorite part about like the Xbox messages was like sending voice messages to people. I remember sometimes I would just like breathe heavily into the microphone and just send it to somebody. <laughs> oh my god. That's so <laughs> why? I think That's so there was this creepy. There was one time where like because it gives you like you a time psycho. It gives you like a time oh limit god. on like how long you can send the message for. And like I the last like five seconds was like, Do you wanna play zombies? <laughs> <laughs> oh it just God. be like me breathing heavily into the microphone and the last five seconds we're just like let's play zombies <laughs> oh my gosh so so it was just like 
<laughs> Pretty much. Want to play zombies? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Oh my god. <laughs> I remember. I remember there was this. There was this uh, one time. I'm like, I was playing like payday with my friend. Uh, we were playing payday too, and uh, yeah. <laughs> the, it was like super serious for like for like a good five minutes because we were trying to like sneak around uh, through like a. I think it, we were playing like in a, inside our uh, like a stadium, like for concerts and stuff. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were supposed to sneak around and like uh, find like like I think money or something inside the stadium. But anyways, when we, while we were doing that and like we were like super serious, he just said something like super funny. And I think I was I was drinking like Powerade at that time, and I just the only thing I remember was like throwing up inside my Powerade. <laughs> <laughs> like throwing up? Yeah, because I laughed and like I choked on my on my on my power rate, so I threw it up. <laughs> like, so you basically gagged yourself. Yeah, I gagged myself and I threw up into my own power rate. <laughs> <laughs> Did you throw up on the controller? And I threw up on the carpet and then and inside the power rate bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you still play? And I no, I want to go clean up. Can't play with that. <laughs> oh, it's like so you were still gonna play payday after that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> gotta finish Let's the go mission guys. first. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there, gang. <laughs> All right, gamers. <laughs> Hit the like button so I can finish the level. <laughs> <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> yeah, good times. I, I, I have footage of like of like the payday streams we used to do. I might I might make a video out of it one day. Young Angela. <laughs> it was pretty funny. During we, his payday days. We all we used to also play Rainbow Six and I remember we <laughs> we would just hide in like a tiny like area <laughs> and like we would like bury up the walls and like the windows and everything and I remember our teammates would message us and be like, What the heck are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> we would we would always die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's the last zombie? What was the last zombies game you played? What do you mean? Like, like zombies like in During general? your great youth. What'd you say? What was the question again? You know, doing... <laughs> What did young Angelo play before his time went away? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, there was this game uh, that was called. It was kind of like the. It was kind of like a, like a Hunger Games type of game. Oh, it was called The Calling. Yeah, The Calling. Uh, so the there was calling. a game called The Calling that released, and it was actually really fun when uh, when the game actually uh, released, but. They decided to make a sequel to that game, and my friend convinced me to buy it. So I was like, "Yeah, I'll buy it. We'll, we'll have some. We'll have fun playing it and everything, because it's co-op." And uh, when we got into the game, the lobbies were like completely empty. <laughs> and then whenever we oh <laughs> whenever we would join a game, like there would be absolutely nobody. So we would like drive a car around for like like for ten minutes straight, and then like. We would find somebody and then just die instantly. <laughs> like, you just got scammed. <laughs> if it was pretty much you that's what it felt a, like. <laughs> and then like brought a dead game. I think uh, like right after like we played it, uh, I requested a refund like instantly. Did you get it? Yeah, they gave me my refund back. I think I like I was like thirty dollars back. I got thirty bucks back. <laughs> Did you play it at launch or something? Yeah, we played it on launch. Maybe that was our mistake. Maybe you should have like waited a day. Nah, two. I don't like that game. Calling two sucks. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, if no one plays on launch day, I mean that's kind of. I play all up. the time on launch day. What are you talking about? Well, no, I'm talking about like other people. Oh, okay, that's true. Nobody oh. played the game. <laughs> It probably wasn't even. Uh, probably nobody even wanted to play that game. <laughs> I didn't even know the game existed. Yeah, Maybe you didn't even know it had a sequel well. to it. <laughs> yeah, probably it just wasn't advertised well. I don't think it was advertised at all. 
<laughs> what, did your friend just come from the abyss of GameStop and just told you about it? I think he just looked at like the brand new games that were just released and it was the calling two that was just there. So he just looked around the game store. Oh, he, he looked did. at he one looked, game he in looked for it. And I didn't like, look for yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, but we played it. It was it was it was okay. Okay, Ethan, well I have to we have to we have to end the stream here. It's time for me to, to head to head out. Well, let's do a suicide pack over here. Alright. <laughs> You're supposed to let the zombies kill you. <laughs> no. I'm gonna make my last stand fighting. Dogs are going crazy. Do you have any other wacky adventures you want to tell me during your great youth? Uh, yeah, but you have to like, you have to let. Okay, I'll tell you a story if you if you let us die. <laughs> this one's actually oh this one's actually kind of good story. <laughs> this will be this this will be all the story right. I'll end it with too. Okay, all so. Right, all right, all right. Uh, a, a while back when I was in high school, uh, and you can ask uh, your teacher about this too. I won't drop his name. Won't dox him like that. <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> uh, a long time ago, I was in this video class, and I remember I told uh, I told people that I knew the people from uh, from Joyland. Uh, so Joyland is an abandoned theme park here in uh, in Kansas, and I live literally right behind it. So I remember I told my friends that I had free access to go inside it. <laughs> <laughs> so one day, uh, one day the uh, they 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 texted me. They were like, "Oh, we're going to Joyland. Uh, can you come with us? Because I know you have access to it." And I was like, "Oh, yeah, sure." <laughs> <laughs> so so I I went over and uh, they were like, "All right, how do we get inside?" And I was like, "Uh, we gotta go to like the back alley." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The back alley. <laughs> so we went to, like we went to the back alley of the Joyland, and uh, we they were like, "Oh, where's the door, Angelo?" And I was like, "Uh, we gotta actually jump the fence." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you were just making this up. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even know what you were doing. <laughs> oh my god! So, uh... I made them jump the fence. <laughs> oh my god. And uh while well, we, we we all jumped the fence and like we were walking around the theme park for a while and they were all like, Are you sure we can be here? And I was like, Yeah, 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 we can be here. No problem. <laughs> and uh oh a guy pulled up in his car. <laughs> oh my god. No. Oh no. And my friends were like well, they were freaking out. They were like, oh my god, th he's going to call the cops on us because we're over here. <laughs> and here, let's, I'm going to, I'm going to make a point. Um, I'm going to make a point here. Uh, my friends were, were, uh, were scared of everything because I lived in the ghetto. So, <laughs> so they were, they thought every, they thought they're, they're, they're going to call the cops on us and everything, but they didn't. It was just a guy trying to smoke. And <laughs> I remember my friends, they went up to him, and I think he I think he got freaked out, and he just drove away quickly. <laughs> he just sped up. <laughs> because they were pointing a phone at him. <laughs> and they were pointing at it, and the guy was like, oh, oh, and he just drove off quickly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, so what year was this? Uh, I can't remember. I think in 2017 or something like that. Or, no, 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 2016. It was in 2016. Uh, <laughs> Pointing their iPhone 6 and 7s at him. And he got scared and he drove away. <laughs> but uh, they found out that I was lying. So they were like, Angelo, you don't even have access to this place at all. <laughs> we're just risking everything for nothing. <laughs> Oh my god. And then I just I just laughed and like we left. We didn't really get to explore the whole place because the uh 
the roller coaster uh, broke down. So the roller coaster used to be standing up uh, for like a really long time, and then one day I think it just it caught on fire, and then it just like trampled completely, and like the whole Joyland was just burning on fire, and like a bunch of like uh, firemen were, uh, came, but yeah, the the roller coaster was blocking the whole entire path, so we couldn't really explore the whole theme park. But we did get to explore the uh, the Wacky Shack. It was like a an old fashioned like horror uh, ride. So I hated that ride so much. Was abandoned. Yeah, right. it was abandoned completely. Uh, we did go into like a, a little so house been... that and it had like a bunch of graffiti in it, like kind of like cult <laughs> cult stuff. Oh my god! And uh, yeah, and uh, we went into the Wacky Shack. And I, I, it gave me like flashbacks of when I was a kid, and I was freaking out so much. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we ended up leaving the, the the abandoned theme park. And when I was jumping the fence again, I ripped my jeans, and I was like, "Dang it!" <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we went our separate ways, and they were driving, and they were like, "Angela, why aren't you getting on your bike?" And I was I was just laughing, and I just kept walking with my bike in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> you just walked the whole way back? I walked until they couldn't see me, so I got on my bike. <laughs> <laughs> when did you walk? I don't know. I think I was just embarrassed to get on my bike while they were watching me. <laughs> <laughs> Angel, why aren't you getting on your bike? Uh, uh, well, <laughs> I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> <see you> again. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh yeah, I remember one time I, pu- I, I, uh, I, pulled, on my, I pulled up on my bike and they were parked somewhere and i remember i was like on my bike and i drove up drove up to their car window and I'm like what kind of drugs do you guys want <laughs> <laughs> but anyways yeah that's my uh that's my joyland story dang <laughs> i guess there's a a moral to the story yeah here. don't lie <laughs> <laughs> don't lie and make everybody think you have access to a bandit theme park because then they'll actually take you up on that offer <laughs> <laughs> Why were you just saying that out loud, Angela? Like, oh, I, don't know. I don't know. Wanted to be cool, man. I, li- I live right behind it. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like say? It? How do you even people know? You just scream it out? No, like I think I think one time like we were in a video class and I was telling them like I was gonna make a video about Joyland and I like I had contact with <laughs> with the with the owners. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like a complete lie the whole time. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> good times, good times. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna end oh the stream god. here, guys. Uh. Make sure to make sure to tune in tomorrow <laughs> at 3 p.m. We we're gonna be playing some cyberpunk and uh, we're gonna be trophy hunting in that game. Uh, All right. Do you want to say anything else before we end the stream here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Carla, for not answering. <laughs> Okay, goodbye, guys. Well, See you guys tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, wait, wait. <laughs> Go ahead, finish up, Ethan. Alright, alright. If I have one thing to say. Alright. Never believe anything that somebody says out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what I'm ending off with. I don't lie anymore. That, that That's the thing. I don't lie anymore. <laughs> okay. If you're, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and like, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios, everybody. Then I committed arson. I'm just kidding.